And we're going into Hollywood Studios. My first that. time going on the planet Batu. Batu. Um, and how convenient that the die liner, Skyliner's right there. <laughs> drops you off here. Jeez. Yes. All right, y'all. So we are here. We are at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We got in early. Um, it was a great experience knowing I can get in here early. So I just got my gimbal set up. I got the microphone turned on. I got all of this ready to go for an amazing fun day. First thing we're gonna do is Galaxy's Edge. I've got group number 14 for Rise of the Resistance ride. And so we're expecting to be called fairly quickly. After that, we plan to do all the other rides today. Follow along. So right here though is last, what, two, a year and a half ago, TJS1 and myself um, would come here and get pictures taken in front of a um, Galaxy's Edge will be here soon. It was boarded up, but it was so cool to see that there. But you know what's even more cool? Oh, they had the wall in front of it. They had the wall, yeah. You know what's even more cool? Walking through it. Uh, the bad robot fire hydrant right there. It the, looks like It JJ does. Oh my gosh. Company. Oh, is that true? Is that why? No, I'm just saying it looks like it. I don't it know. does. It looks like Bad Robot. It does look like the Bad Robot. Is there a re... Maybe? Maybe. We'll have to look at that to see if that's possibly it. We're going to get his first interaction here at Galaxy's Edge. Taking it all in. Just the beginning. Felt like the atmosphere even changed. It got cooler in here. Yeah. Look to your right. You see the spaceship? You know, we got a book we can figure out what. I don't know if it's a speeder. We got a book. It's out what it is. It's got a name. Unfortunately, it's not labeled right here. But we'll try to find that out. Landscapers look like humans. <laughs> the landscapers. Oh, that's so funny. Get it? The landscapers look like humans, he said. He's pulling up and cutting. Oh. I'll tell you, being here so early never was an option for me. I never thought about it, but yeah. It makes a huge difference with the capacity. When it gets busy in here, they're gonna rope this off and only allow people to come in on that other side. And so come in here now. It gets busy. So there's only one group in a shop at a time. So if you want to purchase anything, shops, only one person's allowed in, only one group is allowed at a time. We got Bubba Fett. Okay, I'm buying that right there. Are we uh, available for purchase right now? Yeah. All right, so we're going to get this for Mikey. I mean, he can, yeah. I mean, it's Boba Fett. You have to. You have to. Now, in this store here, we'll go inside here, because I want to go in here if they're open. But yeah, it's, you want to, did you want to buy it, get a lightsaber today? No, because I want to build one. 
That's where you build it, is in here. Know, Sabres. But you can't build them. Yeah, you can right now. Oh, well, I gotta check the price first. Yeah, they're 200 bucks. I mean, they're expensive. Look at all this. Wow. Alright, so we're in this shop. I like this shop a lot. So, Sith patch set. A lightsaber belt clip. You see the water's going up and that water's going down. Alright, so I am noticing a difference already. The force guidance crystals, you see, are now that's gold. Down here, they're still silver. What is the difference? Interesting. I still don't own one of these, and I do want one. I haven't done it yet. The Jedi Holocron. Aziz, and you can get different colors, blue, green, white, um, and then the red, which will either be black or red. Uh, yeah, the kyber crystals. Why is it gold, I, qu I question myself. Hmm. Well... We may not find that answer today. We may, we may not, uh, we don't know. So they've got these back out. I think the last time we were in here, they were not being on display. However, awesome. Absolutely amazing. Kylo Ren's lightsaber is $149. Um, Ray's lightsaber, $129.99. Luke is $139.99. Um, ben Solo, I don't know why he has two of them, but I guess when he was with the uh, learning to be a Jedi, that's what he had back then. Oh. Look at all this. I mean, Darth Vader's lightsaber. Obi-Wan. Oh, wow. Wow, right there. Right there. Wow. Okay. Darth Maul. Tell you what. This is amazing. Just to see the, the engineering. Oh, wow. Do you see this in here, y'all? All right. So we've got different head pieces. You see all those head pieces? The one smiling is gonna be the next suit. Yeah. The Tonton, the one Luke Skywalker killed during the snowstorm. Yeah. All the creatures here. Oh, they're amazing, aren't they? We have a lot of uh, secrets inside the room. I if see. the room is empty and you're standing in that circle right there, you can hear your echo. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. This room is specially made for acoustics. Okay, let me get everybody out. <laughs> you can try it. Sometimes it works perfectly. Sometimes you have to be like, be patient. I've never known that. And I thank you very much for that of information. Secrets around. Lots of secrets. Thank you. That's kind of cool. The acoustics are perfect right there. All right, so we are in line right now to jump into the Rise of the Resistance, group number 14. I understand they're doing the boarding groups between 1 to 15 at this time. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun. First time. He yeah. said he's a little bit overwhelmed. Jeez. So we didn't expect to get here so quickly. It's awesome. All right, so we just got done doing Rise of the Resistance. And that was, I think, my third or fourth, fifth time doing it. I don't know. I've done it quite a bit. But this was Joe's first time doing it. And Joe, what do you think? Uh, it was fun. I th the drop I thought was going to be, you know, like like Hagrid's, but it was it, it was weird. It felt smoother and not as fast. It was more like a controlled drop. Um, and uh, 
don't know how to expl to explain it. It's weird because I've been on other stuff, roller coasters and otherwise that drop, but this one just felt like it was a smooth yeah. uh, drop. It wasn't jerky, it just like gently dropped you. It's weird, hard for me to explain. And now I want to go try a Ronto wrap. I've heard a lot about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey folks, so we just got our uh, milk. He got the blue milk, Joe did. I got the um, green milk. So mine has green milk with tequila. Joe, what'd you get? I got the regular blue. You got the regular blue? Regular blue. All right, so we're social distancing here in this area, so we're in a spot. I think we're okay. Take that off. I like it. it reminds me of like a, I don't know, me personally, it kind of has like a tropical flavor. For $14, I wouldn't pay for this again. Just, no, I'm. Um, this one kind of reminds me of like, bubble yum or, or like a slurpee or something and his is 7.99 mine's 14. um i smell the tequila i don't taste it so i don't know it's i like this one better yeah i think i like the blue milk a lot better oh, you've had the blue before? i've had the blue before this is the first time i'm the green anyway hey each person has their own uh, taste. What do you like? Would you please leave comments below and let me know if you've tried it before? We're gonna go ride uh, Smuggler's Run here in a few minutes. There's a long line. We're gonna get in that, and then we're gonna try to run that, and then we're going to uh, have some lunch. So, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye.